Hello, I'm Fred McNeil and you're watching QAC TV. Welcome to a brand new show we have. It's called Shorts and Sandals. Each week we're going to take you to a, a different place in Queen Anne's County. And it's a nice place to get away to, relax, forget your job, and just take it easy. This week we're at Terrapin Nature Park on Ken Island. And I have our guide, Christian Reed. Christian, thank you very much for yes, joining thanks, us. Fred. Okay. Now tell me about this delightful place, Terrapin Nature Park. Terrapin Beach Park is absolutely beautiful. It sits on 276 acres it's of, yes, it's, it's huge, <laughs> 276 acres of Bayfront property. Okay. Okay, and the Oyster Walking Trail is actually almost four miles long. I've walked it. It's a long trail. It is a, a long delightful trail. trail. It's delightful. delightful. It's beautiful. Um, and it's also about 4,000, um, I think it's about 4,000 uh, feet of shoreline. Okay, and it's just, I can't it's wait till gorgeous. we get then. We're gonna, look at, I'm going to tell you, the first time I went on to Terrapin, Beach was with Kristen's group, which we'll talk about later in a beach cleanup. And all of a sudden, I realized the, the Bay Bridge in the background. It seems like there's almost a surf. And then when we get down, you can tell us all the neat things you've seen. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, folks, we're about to walk four miles. It's a beautiful place to go. There's parking, everything you need. Just relax right here in Queen Anne's County. Now, Kristen, we've taken a nice, easy, about a 15 minute walk from the parking lot. Now we're down to this beautiful beach. Now tell me, you tell me on the weekends, this is fairly crowded. It is very crowded on the weekends. You'll have all kinds of families um, and people with their dogs as well. So it's pet friendly. It's pet friendly. As long as they're on a leash. As long as they're on a leash, correct. And what, they just put their towels out, just like any regular beach. Absolutely, people come, you can bring snacks with you, um, kind of have like a picnic, bring your towels, um, bring your you know beach toys. And, and hang out here all day. And it's just beautiful. I mean, you have a nice, clean beach, and this view is worth, that's a million dollar view, right? Yes. We've got the Bay Bridge, and it's great. Now, tell me the type, I always get a kick out of the time we came in for, for one of your beach cleanups, there was these kite sailors, what do you call them? Oh, they're the kite? windsurfers. All right, so they're here on a regular And they're from basis. Annapolis. Okay, I mean, that's a show right there. They're here pretty much from, I'd say, March through about right now. Every weekend? Almost every Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Yes. Now, another thing is, and I commented to you walking up, every time I've been here, there's been this beautiful breeze. I mean, is it is it always like that? It's like this almost always. So no air conditioning, no fans, you no. don't need to come down here. And what you, we've talked about on the trail, heck, we're what? Uh, by car, we're five minutes from downtown Stevensville, Centerville, we're 20 minutes. I mean, Queen Anne's County, what a beautiful place to come, right? Absolutely. Now, let's talk about something that you're real interested in, the maintenance and cleaning of the beach, all right? Tell me sure. about your organization and tell me all the good stuff you do down here. Well, our organization is called Ken Island Beach Cleanups, and we also call it Kib Q. Okay. Uh, Kib Q, and I this like is, that. Okay. This is one of our most favorite places to clean just because, as you can see, it's 276 acres. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Um, and it does need attention because it is right here on our Chesapeake Bay. Um, we are right across from the Baltimore Harbor, so we do get a lot of things and a lot of trash that does wash up. But unfortunately, people do come and they leave their trash. So sure. we want to keep it as clean as possible for the residents of the county and for any visitors that come as well. And the nice thing, the beach cleanup, it can be like a family affair. I Absolutely. mean, it, it, everyone gets plastic bags, gloves. They just walk up and down the beach. They can walk in the water. The kids can have fun. Oh, it's great. And we, we, we bring all the supplies for our volunteers. We give people water and snacks and um, people can come for 15 minutes or stay for the whole four hours. A lot of people actually come. They'll help us clean and then they'll spend the rest Just of the day relax. on the beach. And you told me, I think you were, you were here this Memorial Day weekend. There were people here at 7.30 in the morning. Was that correct? Or? Yes, absolutely. So, and they're here all day. And they are. they here all day. Mm -hmm. So folks, all my Queen Anne's County residents, hey, we're talking about one of the prettiest spots in the county. It is. It's clean. Really. It's safe. And what a delightful way to spend a day or a weekend. You can walk on the beach, you can walk with your pet, and if you'd like, you can help the KIBC clean up. Now, tell us about some cleanups coming up. Well, we do have a cleanup coming up this Saturday, which is May 30th, and it is here, and it's from 8 a.m. until 12 p.m. And then you have them on a regular basis throughout the summer? We do. We have them twice a month going through October. We also clean the Kent Narrows, but this is really our, our beauty. This is, this this is, is the one you like. Spot. I mean, we have marshland, like I Which said. Which is actually 73 acres of, of wetlands here. 73 acres. So you get okay. a little bit of everything. As you saw when we were walking down, you have the open grass area. Then you have some kind of like forest areas that you walk to down to the beach. You can actually ride your bike throughout the entire path, which actually connects with the Cross Island Trail. Now, what type of wildlife have you seen? I mean, all the times you've come down here. 
Uh, you'll see deer. Um, you'll see all different types of birds. Um, you see a lot of ducks as well. And for kids, it's kind of a fun place, oh, a little great. nature walk, right? It's, it's, it's really wonderful. It's a hidden gem. Okay, well, like I say to everybody, look at Terrapin Beach, delightful place, easily accessible. There's plenty of parking, and it's absolutely free. It is free. And you can't beat a thing, and it's unspoiled. So if you have a chance this summer, come on down, spend a day at Terrapin Beach. Christian, what's your website if they want to help clean up? It is www.kentislandbeachcleanups.com. Okay, so thank you for watching QAC TV, and thank you for watching Shorts and Sandals.